Hello, my name is Brian Johnson. I'm a product manager here at Dytron Instruments. Today we're going to briefly cover the new 4400B Vibre Quarter and go into detail on its new unique synchronization capabilities. Dytron Instruments is proud to introduce another member of the Vibre Quarter family, a portable triaxial acceleration recording device with a rechargeable battery capable of 15 hours of continuous recording. The 4400 series use variable capacitance MEMS accelerometers for acceleration measurements from DC response up to 1 kHz. The device utilizes a micro SD card for data recording and a micro USB port for charging and configuration. The Vibrecorder's integrated rare earth magnets allow it to quickly be mounted to ferromagnetic surfaces. The 4400B is offered in three different measurement ranges, plus or minus 2G's peak, plus or minus 19 G's peak, and plus or minus 200 G's peak. Besides the regular set of features typical for the devices of the Vibre Quarter family, like the 16-bit ADC, sampling rate up to 10 kHz, and automatic file parsing to the user-selected size, the 4400B series exhibits a couple of features that really set it apart from the competition. The 4400B's real-time clock keeps the time and date information without the need for an additional button-style battery. The open source file format described in the operating guide allows third-party application development for data extraction and two independent methods for multiple recorder synchronization. Now that we've covered the basic features of the new 4400B Vibre Recorder, let's discuss the main focus of this video, the new available synchronization methods. The use of the synchronization cable allows the user to start the recording of multiple units simultaneously. The following steps should be followed to utilize the synchronization cable. First, configure the microSD cards for the desired recording settings. Be sure to select Free Run in the Trigger Type window. Repeat this for each of the SD cards. In our case, we'll be utilizing three Vibre Quarters. Now, insert the SD cards and press the power button on each Vibre Quarter required to be synchronized. Wait for the green indicator to light up. Connect all the units using a set of Dytri Model 60153A synchronization cables. Note, the positive terminal must face the USB connector. Once the recording button is pressed on one of the units in the chain, the recording will start on all the units. This can be confirmed by observing the solid green indicator turn red. After running the test, the recording button can be pressed on one of the vibre recorders to terminate the recording of all the synchronized units in the chain. If the use of a synchronization cable is prohibitive during your test, a wireless synchronization technique is available. This second method requires that the real-time clocks of all the units be synchronized first. The following steps describe the use of the real-time clock synchronization method. First, configure the microSD card for the desired recording settings. Make sure to configure the sync time window for a few minutes into the future, and the trigger time for the desired test start time. Repeat this for each of the SD cards. Next, insert the cards into the recorders. Hold the record button and press the power button. Let the record button go. The indicators should stay dark. Now momentarily press the record button again and wait until the check ready indicator turns solid blue. Make sure to get all the units into this state and then connect them together with the Dytrain Model 60153A synchronization cable. Now monitor an external clock reference, watch, cell phone, etc. until the sync time that was pre-configured on the SD cards matches the reference time. Then press the record button on one of the vibre recorders in the chain. The blue light should turn off on all of the connected devices. This designates successful real-time clock synchronization. 
Now power cycle the unit and remove the synchronization cable. After the power button is turned on, you should see the green status indicator light illuminated, noting the unit is ready to record. Once the time reaches the triggered time value that was pre-configured on the SD cards, all the devices will start to record simultaneously. To stop the recording, press the record button on each device. Now, let's conduct a demonstration showing the 4400B's synchronization in action. For this test, we will use the cable synchronization method. With the vibe recorders being synchronized between the unit mounted on the wheel hub and the unit mounted on the shock body, we can easily observe the dampening that occurs from the motorcycle suspension. Once the SD cards are collected from all the vibe recorders, the data can be overlaid and examined using the provided software. The proper synchronization between the recording entities allows for the proper data to be gathered for modal, transfer function, or coherence analysis. We hope you found this video informative. Please visit us at diatrine.com or contact one of our technical sales engineers today for more information on our Express Data Acquisition families.